So, Monday the, where are we? 29th of June and back to camp isolation. This time, fingers crossed, in a few days, on Saturday, 4th of July, we're going to actually have some people staying at camp isolation. Um, yeah, <laughs> very strange to remember, sort of setting off on this journey back in March and um, everything else happened. So, the car's full again. There's some tomato plants, um, stuff in the boot. Uh, I did leave quite a lot of stuff up um, when I came back in, when did I come back now? May, but that seems a long time ago doesn't it? Um, so when I originally went up I actually packed a full six months worth of clothing and I'll put a link up there to take you to a little video which shows you how I did it all and um, yeah. So we've had a real heat wave in the last few weeks and last week I've reached 36 degrees in the car. I don't know if you can see outside here now, but it's all ooh, setting off on a grey miserable day. Right, speak to you soon when I'm back up at camp. I've got a bit of a trek up to um, up to Northumberland now. So, um, a nice drive up here. It was a little bit wild and windy, um, an awful lot of rain up, uh, up the motorway, but um, got here nice and safe. The roads were incredibly busy to how they have been. Um, obviously, as lockdown is relaxing um, to the site, and we've had a lot of rain this afternoon. As I say, it's uh, wild and windy and a little bit chilly. Met with the owners, and we've got um, uh, a lot to do in the next few days until Saturday. Uh, Please say the grass seed and all the rest of it that I planted has all really taken. Um, if you didn't have a clue what I'm on about, you'll need to go back and have a look at some um, some other videos. But I'll just go for a very very quick walk about now and look at the look at the site, how it's changed just a little bit in the four weeks whilst I was back at home. Uh, this washing up area, which has been uh, modified and screening being put up, so with um, well has been on one meter distance. Um, these dividers obviously they're going to have uh, perspex put on them and you can see how it's going to work um, so all the way Steve's painted some of the woodwork on the outside oops a little bit dark in here so this is a quick look in the reception area that's the coffee machine and the oven fridge um, so we will be doing takeout sandwiches, hot sandwiches, coffees, um, shelving with some stock, other fridge with cold drinks and ices, and with the one meter um, social distancing, we will be able to have some seating inside as well. Um, so yeah, that's uh, inside. The shot. I, don't think, I don't think I actually shot anything inside uh, here previously, but there you are in here. So these are um, hanging baskets are all there. That's the uh, hanging baskets up. This is into the uh, facilities. So this door will be left open. Um, And doors open and the washroom will be in use. I've got to clear salt at the back of this fence here, um, which didn't get done. Um, touch objects like the books and the games will be out of use. Um, and then we'll be operating a tally system where you'll literally have two in, two out. Uh, there's a map. And obviously there's going to be a lot of signage uh, to go up this week. Coronavirus is the ladies. Um, so the lights are uh, auto sensor lights. So again, screens and partitions are being put in. Um, the hand dryers will be no, no, out of use. Um, all the signs are all up. Um, cubicles are apart and the toilets obviously I mean it's going to have a very strict 
cleaning regime. Um, so corridor, and this is the. Um, I'm not going to actually open that. The handle's gone on it, uh, but disabled loo. This is the storeroom um, and the gentleman's toilet. Again, there's part some partitions um, are going to be put down here. So, uh, obviously, you down to your toilets, your urinals, and to give say to save the um, social distancing, what we're going to have is it's going to be like a, a basically a fob system outside where you'll literally, you're going to have two people will be able to come in and two people will be able to go out. So yeah, facilities. Um, we've been waiting for this day for a long time. And then back out to the courtyard. So this is uh, obviously a lot, there's still a lot going on. Um, so we'll be able to do seating, distanced, for people, if it's nice to sit outside, the swallows are coming in and going. Um, I've got a mammoth weeding task, all these weeds are going to have to be hand pulled out of the ground. So that's um, going to be fun and games. So these are um, recycling bins are going to be going here, so barbecue ash, metal, cartons, plastic for recycling, um, glass landfill bins um, etc so this is um your waste area and i say keen to recycle when we do the coffee shop we're going to be on um compostable coffee cups as well um and bamboo steerers uh, staying away from plastic uh yeah i've been starting some weeding hmm first wheelbarrow full and the back Bank here is going to need to be um, strimmed at some stage. But yeah, there we, there we are. Let go. Let's uh, take his shape. So this area here, with these picnic benches are going to be moved um, onto this area here. So everywhere is going to have to be given a um, a, a final grass cut. So here. Um, again on a previous video, uh, this was just soil that I laid as um, the cover ton of topsoil and seeded. Look at that, that was um, just brown last time. So again, um, whilst I was away, we, um, we've had a lot of rain and big difference. Um, the grass has had a drink. Uh, oh golly, look at this. Um, so this is all going to be wild. So this is all going to need to be trimmed down, cut down. Uh, I've got a little bit of a foam muffler on the camera, so I don't know whether this is going to be a load of wind or not. Um, yeah, still a, a patch that's uh, open. So. But the grass is so much lush to what um, to what it was. So I don't know whether you remember on a previous video we laid um, um, a load of stone on this corner, put this gully in, and um, we've transferred an electric point um, over to this side. <laughs> Rabbits. I've not seen the uh, I've not seen the oh two rabbits I don't know if you can see the rabbits or not but there's um, a couple of rabbits on this pitch here hello rabbit um, so there's some netting down here trying to keep the birds off but um, yeah it's definitely looking a lot lusher. And up to top of the campsite, this piece here. This is uh, we call this Everest. And, uh, yeah, crikey, this is uh, I trimmed all this down. Look how, look how this is all grown. 
there's going to be a, a fair whack of strimming to do. Oh, look at the view. So you can't really appreciate the view, but I've so much missed the uh, missed this view. There's another little cheeky rabbit. So this is sort of like the backpacking area, but what we are going to be able to do is when I'm coming in here now on the right, just coming in here, we are going to rope off an area and we are going to be able to make this into a, a, a car and a tent pitch. Um, and when I came up in February, March, this was like a sponge, the ground, you, the ground was, you just would not believe how wet it was here. Anyway, that's sealed up. And then this is going to be the backpacker area. So you just get um, a lot of solo campers with small bivy tents. Um, we'll be down here and obviously um, well distanced between each of the tents. There's the... hut. So if you remember, you probably don't remember, if you may have seen me painting up this one and putting the uh, wood treatment on it, cleaning it all up, um, clean all the inside. Again, on a previous video where I cleaned up all in here, painted all the walls. So there's now um, a seating area for the backpackers. Um, and another area with some bits and bobs. And there's gonna be um, um, a cooker. Um, will sit on here um, for usage and somewhere for people to hang up wet clothing um, if they've been out for the day and got drenched <sighs> so this is the wild camping meadow um, so normally the um, you'd have groups can come and have the jamborees um, up here, yeah, Duke of Edinburghs and Scouts and Cubs, etc. So this is the biggest transformation of it all. This 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 was hard work, and um, this was actually the, all of this was no green. This was all mud. I'm absolutely chuffed to bits that um, that it's grown and gone green. Um, yeah, that was all mud. Now, so we say this area is on a bit of a slight slope, but um, you, but you get some. Some campers like to do the, the more of the wild camp feeling. So that's uh, that's up here. And it looks like Steve's cut this grass fairly recently. Um, a lot of a uh, lot of grass cutting to constantly do. So the moles have gone. There was um, I was coming up here getting mole soil. Uh, at one stage yeah these this is this where the mole was so we're gonna stream back some of this um so up at the view from the top uh, these are the um seasonal pitches people pay um an annual rent and store the van here all year round so now this bank's going to need completely strimming down it was one of the last jobs i did actually before i went home it was all up this area uh new steps are all in and done uh, chickens and ducks were quite um happy to see me so here we are again if you remember on the last few days I was here, um, created this fence. 
I knew I was going to get problems with the top of my van with bird shit and stuff uh, being under the trees and sure enough there's um, a lot of muck on there hello chicken say hello to a chicken oh. and there's my van again Another area. Uh, so the motorhomes, the um, site owners, motorhome. Um, okay, it's wondering what that is. Always starting to rain. And gates open, not actually closed. So, oh, it is very, very windy. Really windy. Yeah, um, this is the lane as you come onto the site. Uh, so again, there's going to be a lot of strimming going to need to be done um, coming down here. I'm going to have to go in. It's, it's raining. Uh, I had to remember back in March when I well February when I came up for the interview uh, and into March, all down here was just a, a, a sea of daffodils. Um, all down here. So this is all going to need to be trim back there's a sheep field and the little lambs so again on the early videos you got you got me with the uh, the little lambs um, all a little bit grown up mmm lamb mint sauce I am partial to a bit of lamb uh, sign into the campsite you're welcome as you come in so, so depending which way uh, you can come in from both both ends depending on which part of the country you come from and you'll drive through the gate and by saturday night this campsite is sold out full to capacity and my utility tent we've got loads of stuff including some beer um has all stayed up all okay so i'm quite pleased with that to say but the least um right that was a quick walk around on monday before we open up on saturday all very exciting and a very very panicky a lot to do if you like that give it a thumbs up um subscribe to my channel if you want to if you want to get notification when I upload a video, hit the notification bell below, ding ding, and I'll see you guys on the next one.